that the issues of how how black preachers preach versus how white preachers preach, mm -hmm. how we sing as opposed to you know um, the the clothes that we wear. I don't think that those are the real problems. I think we have not yet known that it's possible for us to really live together in peace. That that seems to me to be the real issue. This is not a failure of worship style strategy or of preaching style. This is a failure of hope um, for us to really think that it would be possible for a white church and a black church to bear witness to something different. I don't think, I think most of us don't know what it would mean. So what do you expect from your black pastors? You all are at the table. I think you all generally have a heart to <clears throat> want to make this happen, unite the body of Christ, unite our community. What, what are your expectations of your black pastors, of the black pastors? I think for me it would be more hopes uh, than expectations. Um, you know, I, I would hope that we um, could talk together about difficult topics, and if we do step on a landmine uh, in something we say or do, um, you know, that we could know that, that we could know why that was painful, why that was hurtful, or if we make steps forward and we stumble uh, and disappoint one another, that we could develop the sort of relationships together that would, you know, just like any friendship, you know, if you have a friendship, it's not all smooth sailing. There's going to be difficulties. Um, and I think for me personally, just education, because your question about the black church, I'm going to assume the black church isn't one, you know, one unit, that, that, that there's diversity within African American, predominantly African American churches, because I'm finding, quite frankly, that some of the African American churches are more diverse. That, you know, as I visited during my sabbatical some friends' churches, you know, they have been more successful at being diverse than, than we have been. So I feel like I need some education. I, I want to develop friendships that allow for, uh, you know, people just saying, quite frankly, that wasn't helpful uh, when you failed to call me back or when we started an initiative and then you dropped the ball. Um, and, I, you know, I think that's a two-way street to be able to talk honestly about, well, there's some nervousness about um, certain issues. And, um, you know, you have... Uh, it's a whole other subject for another time, but the political differences between mm -hmm. some of our churches, that you know, some of our churches might be more on one, one issue. And I, but I think we need to, to learn to talk about those things too, uh, not so much to try to persuade one another, but just to learn, you know, why, you know, why are you excited about, you know, some of these social initiatives the government is doing while we're nervous about it? Hmm. I mean, I think those are touchy topics that, mm -hmm. um, that I just hope we can delve into, you know, not for the purpose on my part of doing anything, but understanding, you know, where, where are you coming from? How has your story brought you uh, to this, this place and whatever issue? Is your congregation on board with this, moving in this direction? Well, you know, I, I can speak for, for me, I guess, but um, we're trying to get there. I have a little bit of, um, an advantage being that we're young and new, so we don't have a, a ton of history, right? We're trying to turn that whole thing around. Uh, but yet, it was an epiphany about two years in, and we had to introduce this, that the, the gospel is to the nations, and Don mentions the you know, eternality of, of ethnicity, and so we need to start practicing now like we're going to play in heaven. We should look like this, and... Um, um, so we're in process of that. Um, we're trying to look at establishing some goals. Um, we've uh, tried to establish a, a diaconate around the issue of racial reconciliation because we've probably seen these things happen, right? And phases and stages and they move. And some people are seeping into cynicism because here mm -hmm. we go again, we've seen this happen before, mm -hmm. right? We've had a pastor's effort and that didn't happen. And so we're trying to, by the grace of God, look at how do we really establish this and bring some permanency um, through a diaconate and through establishing racial reconciliation as one of our core missions of our body and then beginning to move beyond that conceptual phase and that's just about where we are right now but in terms of okay what's this going to look like for us um, that's just kind of what are we well are. I, I want to ask that same question of you all what what are your expectations of the white pastors in this ongoing dialogue I think for for me uh, an expectation would be for um, not just for the white pastors but the black pastors as well for us to be willing uh, to launch out into the deep. I mean, the many problems, I mean I was discussing with a, a pastor uh, on this week 
th there was some concern about trying to go out, and as you were saying, that not necessarily knowing what's going to happen, but the the uh, for those of us that are a part of the dialogue, that are a part of this mission and effort, we've got to be willing to um, move in faith and less fear in order for us to uh, accomplish anything. And, and I don't know if it's easier for us as blacks to, to, to make that effort than would be for uh, our white brothers and sisters. Because we've had I to do it We've been doing anyway. it all our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. sure if that's the issue, but mm -hmm. um, for those white pastors who desire for this effort to come to fruition, um, we just need them to get off of the sideline and get in the game mm -hmm. and let us try to do it together as opposed to kind of easing in. It's not something I think that we can right. ease into on either side of the playing field. We can't really ease into it because the same kind of thing happens. We fall up by the wayside. It just ends up, you know, not happening and we go back to our um, back to our uh, end of the field. But uh, um, when I was at the university, um, the campus, Baptist campus minister, uh, tried to get me to figure out how to get more black uh, students to the, to the student center. How do we get more blacks to be a part of the Baptist Student Union? Mm -hmm. My problem with that was that he, did, he wasn't so concerned with the souls mm -hmm. of the students, but with trying to get more blacks there. And I said, I need to understand your reason for wanting blacks there. Do you just want color in your building? Or are you interested in the souls of blacks? And so that's what my expectation is for us, as you were saying, not my black friends, but my Christian brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. for, for us to be able to launch into the deep for, you know, this is a deep issue. And the scripture declares that deep calleth unto deep. Mm -hmm. And we cannot, we cannot try to wade uh, and think that we're going to make it when this thing is already over our heads.